It is a Monday and the hit and run is on. Yankees acquired Frankie Montas at the trade deadline and his first outing wasn't how he dreamt it up. One outing does not a season make. Al Leiter, there's more to it. He was on the bereavement list. Yep. He barely had time to game plan with Jose Trevino. That can't be easy, right? No, it's not. And especially, Lauren, it was 12 days prior he pitched against Houston when he was still with the A's. So that period of time and then the bereavement of his mother-in-law. But the, the the unique aspect of when you're traded in season, Thero, have you been in yes. season? Yes. So there's a little bit of a honeymoon that you hope you get. And the only reason when I saw his game yesterday, I watched, I watched all of it, was I had a similar experience. I got uh, uh, traded to the Yankees uh, on a waiver deal. And this was my first start. And I'm telling you how wacky it is. And I'm only showing it because my scouting report and meeting my new teammates was literally in the Fenway Clubhouse, Sunday night ESPN game of shaking hands with my new teammates. And I had a scouting report with Jorge Posada and Mel Stoudemire in the training room about what I'm going to do and, and how you I were pitch. Absolutely dominant. No, and I had a good game. And I'll tell you, <laughs> I was terrible. No, and I, I, I will say this. I this know. equates to Montaz <laughs> because you dealt. Yes. <laughs> no. The moral of the story is I was awesome in that no. situation. See, that's why I didn't want to go there. However, thank you. Thank you. That's right, for putting the for the line score. So the I, the, so the idea of having a new team, how guys handle it differently. And yeah. No. No, listen, I'm not playing the, uh, you know, give me some love thing. You're the best. However, not knowing the guys. Some guys have to ease into it, there right? was a, It was weird. I'm telling you. I came in. I'm shaking hands with my new teammates. First day I'm of sitting, school. Yeah. I did, like, give me a day or two to, like, hang out and, like, feel my way. And not so only he that, he back. has to be the savior on this Yankees team. Right. right? So he's coming in at the game. He's 96-plus fastball. He's got a good split slider. We know what he can do. He's a good pitcher, to say the least, plus stuff. And then all of a sudden, you're on the eight ball, you're missing, you're bleeding balls up, you give up six runs in three innings. How quickly of not feeling unsettled, and that's what you get. That's not indicative of what Frankie Montas is. Not what I think my I, I know what you think. I can tell by your face. <laughs> <laughs> tell us. He's the least of my concerns. Oh, yeah, I didn't say a concern. He had great stuff. He had out of whack mechanics. He left some balls over the heart of the plate. And up. I'm going to give him a pass. What I won't give a pass is the fact that they're expecting this guy to be locked down for them, okay? I think that's a lot to ask Frankie Montaz to come over and... To Are put... they really? Yes. No, he's coming over as a number three. Come on, d -Row. He's. Not... I need you to pitch a playoff game. Okay, he's your number three. Okay, I, my lineup's got outs in it right now. My lineup has a few outs in it right no, now. Oh, you want him to be better than that, but he, he didn't. No, he I'm didn't more concerned for... about what I see with the offense. I'm more concerned with I need Clay Holmes to be right. I got there, it. I there's got some it. other things this that are worrying This isn't an in-season prime Randy Johnson going to Houston. Exactly. No, it, it, he'll fit. But you nice... traded away Montgomery. You traded away the Sears kid, not that he was going to get meaningful innings. But what I'm saying is that you just put a lot of heat for him to be really, really good. The depth has concerned you for quite a while. Did this play and this call concern you? Rocco Baldelli was heated on this. You saw D. Rose tape about him being the principal because he was making sure you knew how he felt. Kevin Biggio to left. Call on the initial throw home was out. Blue Jays challenged it. He was called safe because of blocking the plate. Here's Rocco, post game. It's... One of the worst moments I think we've seen of umpiring in any game I've ever been a part of in baseball. And I think it was pathetic what, what just played out. He was upset. He said that play is never called. 100%. He had a problem not with the umpires, with New York. With the rule. Lauren, it's the rule. I know. You're right. With the a guy not in target field not having a first of all the rule needs to be changed feel <laughs> the rule needs to be changed well, uh, everyone in life will you just have a feel no but it's a rule that the, the umpires are going by a rule that's ridiculous the rules bad you catch it if the if if Maryfield did what he was supposed to I saw he was blocking the plate so I slid into him he should have knocked him into the first base dugout if that's what you really felt that where is he Listen, supposed to go? Exactly. Die? Sanchez is receiving a ball. That's part of the play. It's a ridiculous rule. Lauren, the rule. Tell Have me. you read it? Yes, read it. Okay, if a catcher blocks the plate without possession of the ball, the runner will be safe. However, a catcher may block the plate to field if throw if the umpire determines he could have otherwise fielded it. That's the rule. So it's automatic. If you don't have the ball, you Sounds can't. Sounds like the peanuts 
That's never called, though, That's never called. Wah, 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 wah. He didn't have the ball yet. I know. It's a ridiculous rule. I but was, they, the, 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 the ruling was right. The rule is... Listen, not. it was done in good faith. I was there in 2011 when Buster Posey got destroyed for no reason by a guy on the Marlins who yep. was trying to make a name for himself in the clubhouse. I get both sides of it. And yep. it ended up forcing Buster to retire probably earlier than he should have. Wow. Okay? With the hip and the leg and yeah. everything that... Mike Piazza used to get blown up all the time. Wait. The same. He was pretty good. We're not going. We're not going back to guys getting blown up. I'm not saying I want that. Not going back. But you got to give. I mean, right there, common sense. What is the catcher supposed to do? Nothing. Do exactly what he did. And Blue Jays. Blue Jays, what? I mean, they. I can't believe they challenged it. Why? I get because you got to. I guess. You're challenging the rule. You stole a W. I I can understand Rocco's frustration. Yes, I've never seen him so upset. But he's got a division to win. Hey, remember when I asked bad, you bad rule. if the Padres put And this themselves... has happened instantaneously. Bad interpretation of the rule. It's fair. Remember when I asked you if the pods put themselves in no. line with the Dodgers? Cool. After the trade deadline? The Dodgers were sick of hearing that. They went out and swept the Padres over the weekend. Check out Kevin Acey's beat writer for the Padres. Tweet with the Mookie Bell. <laughs> Sweet dance, sweet Hercules, dance. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Padres swept by the Dodgers. Manny Machado is not worried. Why? And this was his answer. He shouldn't personally be worried, but you do you have to have felt some type of... Really? Yes. Oh, Lauren. But, I, I mean, team you sweep... You just traded for the world. All it, eyes team, were on you. Teams sweep teams all the time. That's Got the it. At the end of the day, no, it doesn't, it doesn't make... Okay. Not, not in August. Not they got after whacked what, what right there. Said. <laughs> okay, okay. No, it's not even close. The run differential was 57. Okay. 57 since last year. When's the last time someone's beaten a Dodger starting pitcher? When is they that ever happening on, again? Um, Tyler they, Anderson? Tyler Anderson's changeup. They don't lose, He's got like zero. a double yeah. hitch working. Gonsolin. Arias. Gonsolin's gone. He's he's not as yeah. what he was early on. They have two the aces offense. coming back. Two. Yeah, Bueller, Kershaw. Cody Bellinger sitting in Dustin nine May. Hole, former and May. MVP. Former MVP just chilling in the ace. nine spot. Okay. Not an ace. Okay. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know when you sign a contract. Wait, if I'm the Padres though. What? We're gonna get to it real quick. You should be worried because. You don't have the wild card on lockdown. Like, you're not running away with the wild card. The Braves are three and a half up on everybody, and they're in third place. The Phillies overtook the Padres in the wild card. And Milwaukee, whoever loses the Central yeah. is going to be in that fight as well. Who's and losing if the Central? Mo St. Louis is going to win that division. And if, San right and if San Francisco gets rolling, which I personally don't believe they're going to get rolling, but if they – so you don't just – have the postseason where we're not concerning ourselves. Mm. You got to get in. Yeah. Brewers had the lead in that division. Now it's a two-game St. Louis lead. Emotional. I oh, know what you're going to say. He says, like when are you going to listen John to me? John did you, something. When are you going to listen I don't know. <laughs> Everybody in the division got worse. <laughs> it's like you're going to trade your best player on your team. <laughs> you know when you sign a contract, you sign the paper, and it goes into your file? Someone bought. Are you ready for this? Someone bought. Bobby Bonilla's contract for a hundred and look at your face, Al. How much? For hundred and eighty thousand dollars. What are you doing with it? I, Where are you keeping it? Oh, you're a Mets fan, I guess. Hundred and eighty grand is like a trip on one of those yachts below deck. You ever watch that show? On? At Bravo. Yeah, you a hundred percent have seen it. Yeah, those those the the crew on that. But I'm saying, would you rather have <laughs> would you rather have a couple pieces of paper to say Bobby Benny is getting what? money for? I'd rather go the Amalfi Coast and slide down slides <laughs> if off the yacht. Those are your options: <laughs> Amalfi Coast with below deck Mediterranean, point. right? Or two pieces of paper. I don't know. Is there a market for that? Where? I don't think I have a contract I've signed. You Remember, have uh, to. You have to keep them. What do if you have one? Wants to pull you know, I have a fast contract. one on you. Yeah, they're in five. The big dog one you kept. They're in five. <laughs>